The objective of every filmmaker is, of course, to get distribution for the project so their film gets seen and their investors get repaid. However, there are many types of distribution agreements and it's important for producers to know the pros and cons of each. Hi, James Pichitti, Entertainment Attorney and Production Counsel in Los Angeles. Uh, entire books are dedicated to film distribution. Uh, so I will just summarize the most common types of distribution deals. The first and probably most common for independent producers is known as the distribution rights agreement. In this scenario, the distributor uh, is approached by the filmmaker with a finished film and the distributor has not provided any funding or financing for the film and will, is simply agreeing to distribute it in a particular territory or territories. The, the distributor will advance the money to market, uh, exploit, and distribute the film, which you will recover from the gross proceeds from the exploitation of the film. The Production Finance Distribution Agreement, or PFD, is where the distributor essentially hires the production company to produce a film. The distribution company agrees to directly finance production of the film and to distribute it. Under PFD agreements, the production company is subject to the complete control of the distributor regarding all production matters. The distributor hold all distribution rights in perpetuity and very likely will be the absolute owner of all copyright in and to the film, though the production company may retain an interest in the net profits generated by the film, if any. Uh, the other most common distribution agreement is the negative pip pickup agreement, which is it's similar to the PFD agreements, except the distributor does not advance the money for production, but instead agrees to pay a fixed amount upon delivery, the amount of such being a function of the cost of producing and financing the project for the producers. Uh, the film must, of course, meet certain delivery requirements, uh, generally technical delivery requirements, uh, and producers will often use such agreements to secure a loan from a bank or from a group of investors. <clears throat> a pre-sale uh, agreement is a limited distribution agreement for a particular territory. And it's uh, entered into before the film is completed and often before the film even goes into production and can be used by producers to raise financing. Most pre-sale agreements involve a foreign distributor committing to pay a fixed amount uh, commonly known as, an, known as an advance or a minimum guarantee um, in exchange for specified rights in the film in a given territory for a limited period of time. Obviously, the details of any of these types of agreements is going to vary widely uh, as to a specific project. And it's important to retain an entertainment attorney experience in distribution agreements prior to entering into any such agreements. If you have any questions or if you have a project you wish to discuss, don't hesitate to contact us.